So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you're to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. We can run the scan in the background as you complete the next steps in the video. So you just wanna minimize this. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find background intelligent transfer service. Double click on it. You're gonna change the startup type to automatic and then click on start, which would then make the service status running and then click on okay. And now you're gonna click on W on your keyboard. You now wanna scroll down till you find Windows update. Double click on it and then do the same thing. Startup type, automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in change the date and time. Click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure your time zone is correct. You have set time automatically turned on. Now you're gonna scroll down and then click on sync now. Make sure that your date and time has been fully synced up. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on other troubleshooters. And now you're gonna find Windows updates. Click on run. And now this will come up. Wait for this to load. And if you get something like this, you're gonna click on next. Wait for this to load. And then once troubleshooting has been completed, you now just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.